For number 5, we have 1 over square root of x minus square root of 5. We see that we have square roots in the denominator, and we have two terms in the denominator. So this is the formula that we're going to use. And this process is called the rationalized denominator. So here's the formula right here. And the formula says, if we have a parenthesis a minus b times another parenthesis a plus b, we will end up with a squared minus b squared. And we see that our original expression, the denominator is square root of x minus square root of 5. And this is like the a minus b, where the square root of x is the a part, and the square root of 5 is the b part. And then you also see the subtraction in the middle. In order for us to use this formula, we need to have this guy right here, the a plus b. Therefore, what we are going to do is, we will take this and multiply with the a plus b. The a is the square root of x, and the b is the square root of 5. So, we will multiply this with square root of x plus square root of 5. And this guy right here, it's also called the conjugate when we're trying to rationalize the denominator. And we'll also multiply this on the numerator as well. Square root of x plus square root of 5. Alright, so let's just multiply out the top. We have 1 times square root of x plus square root of 5. It's just this, right? Square root of x plus square root of 5. Nothing changes. And then for the denominator, to multiply this out, we can use the result right here. We are going to end up with a squared minus b squared. The a is the square root of x, and the b is the square root of 5. So we know if we multiply this out, all I need to do is I will take square root of x, and then I will square that. This right here is the a squared part, and it will subtract. Let me put this in the parentheses first. The b is the square root of 5. So I put that right here, and then I will have to square that. And now we can see why we are going to use this formula. Because now the square root of x and the square, the square and the square root cancel each other out. Likewise, for the square root of 5, the square root and the square, they cancel each other out. Therefore, what do we get? Just x minus 5 in the denominator. As the result, we will have no square root in the denominator. This is what it means by rationalize the denominator. And this right here will be answer choice A in the answer choices. That's it.